This video is sponsored by me and my Gumroad store. Right now, you can get a huge 40% discount on all of my products using the code FLASH at checkout. This code even works with the Blender Masterclass bundle, which allows you to pick up both of my Masterclass courses for less than the price of one. Grab your copy today via the link in the description. I've been in the Blender community for almost eight years now, and in that time, one of the most repeated requests that I've seen is for a mobile version of Blender. Every three or four months, I make videos about the new features coming to Blender, and you can almost guarantee that question will be in the comments somewhere. Is there any word on a mobile version? And I suppose it makes sense, even though Blender already works on Linux and Windows and on Mac, a lot of people just don't have a desktop PC or maybe they're at university or something and they live in a dorm and it would be nice to have Blender work on a device that almost everybody has in their pocket, right? Most people have a tablet or a phone. I suppose it makes sense. But from my point of view, I've always wondered whether it would even be sensible to have a mobile version of Blender. I mean, at the end of the day, Blender is notoriously keyboard specific. I can't think of a program that's more reliant on a keyboard than Blender. You have to like press control just to move around in the viewport. I don't know really how that would work with like a finger. But these days there are mobile versions of sculpting and drawing apps. So things like Grease Pencil and the sculpting tools, I suppose could work just fine. Also, they make these hubs, which you can plug a mouse and a keyboard into a tablet or a phone, and you can use both. So if you had one of those, now you, potentially you have a really good little portable setup. As long as it was powerful enough and Blender was stable, you could just throw that in a backpack or take it on a plane and you could have a version of Blender that you could at least work on pretty simple stuff with. So that was always just kind of a pipe dream because I've spoke to developers about this and it seems to be kind of the unofficial official uh, response of the Blender Institute that they're not interested in making this, right? They don't have that many developers and it's just one more thing for them to have to maintain. But Blend is open source. So if somebody in the community wanted to make their own mobile version of Blender, they could. And that's exactly what happened. Just under a year ago, a user on the DevTalk forums posted about having issues trying to port Blender onto Android. And that discussion went very quiet for a long time, but about a week ago, they released a link to GitHub where there was an alpha version of Blender working on Android. And I've downloaded it. There's uh, the icon. And that's exactly what they've managed to do. Somehow they've got Blender working on a phone. Now at the moment, it is just pretty much stuck Blender on a phone, which means you can, you can select things but that's, that's about it. It does render. Not only does it render in AV, but I've actually managed to get it rendering in cycles. I'll see if I can do that now. It's not easy to navigate using my chubby fingers with these tiny buttons. Let's go render image. And there we have cycles running on a phone. Not only that, but actually it's surprisingly quick. The, uh, the default scene here just rendered out in like nine seconds or something on my phone. Oh no, it's still technically going. I think last time I checked it, it took about 20 seconds for cycles on a phone, which is, I know it's a very, very basic scene. It's just the cube, but still, uh, it's really promising. So potentially if you already have one of those little hubs where you can connect a mouse and a keyboard, I'll link, uh, where you can download this and you can try it out, but otherwise. I wouldn't even bother downloading it because other than the novelty of having Blender on your phone, right now you can't do anything with it. Obviously the task now that it's working is going to be to develop some sort of UI. I don't know how easy that's going to be. I imagine it's probably going to be quite difficult, but um, if they figure something out, it could be really cool for people who are into sculpting. Like if you have a tablet with a stylus or a phone that has a stylus, that could be really cool for drawing and sculpting on. Now it is only Android. I imagine it's always going to only be Android. I'm pretty sure that the GPL license that Blender is released under 
uh, is incompatible with the the app store i don't think like the terms allow for blender to ever go on there which means it, at least it could never be an official release right it could be like side loaded on or whatever potentially but i just can't see anybody going to the effort to actually make that work you never know though there's a hell of a lot of uh iphone users in the world maybe someone someday will make a port for that as well but i can't see it happening but if you have android uh, and you've been wanting to use blender on a phone or on a tablet very soon you might be able to do that basically anyway guys thanks for watching this video hopefully that's a bit of good news for you if that's something you've been looking forward to remember that that flash sale is on my gumroad i'll leave the link in the description and probably one in the comments as well where you can check that out and you can save 40 percent using the code flash i don't know how long that sale is going to be on for so i suggest you move now